Now let's look at the rules for balancing redox reactions. And redox is just a shorthand way of saying oxidation reduction reactions. So here is a redox reaction in which electrons are transferred and it's not real obvious as to which electrons or which atoms have gained and lost electrons. So we will assign oxidation states so that we can keep track of that. So we'll assign oxidation states for each atom in the reaction. So here, oxygen's minus two, that gives a total of minus eight for oxygen. So manganese has to be plus seven to give a total charge of negative one, which is the charge on the molecule. Okay, so manganese is plus seven. Now we go to this molecule, so we assign hydrogens first. So hydrogen is plus one, and so that's a total of plus two, since we have two hydrogens. And then we assign oxygen next. Oxygen's negative two, and we have a total of four, so that's a total of minus eight. So that means that carbons will have to have a total of plus six, that's plus eight minus eight, that's zero, charge on the molecule is zero. So that means we have two carbons, so since the total is plus six, each carbon has to be plus three. Now we go to manganese, it's an atom, and so its oxidation state is just its charge. And here we have carbon dioxide. Each oxygen is negative two. It gives a total of negative four for the oxygens. So carbon has to have a total of plus four to equal zero. The charge on the molecule, so carbon has to be plus four here. So now we can see which atoms have gained and lost electrons. Manganese has gone from plus seven to plus two, so it has gained five electrons. Carbon has gone from plus three to plus four, so it has lost an electron. So now, let's balance the redox reaction. So now that we've identified what has lost and gained electrons, we can write the two half reactions. So I'll write the two half reactions, the oxidation and the reduction. So the oxidation, remember, is losing electrons. So carbon has lost an electron, so I'll write that reaction. So I'll write everything that has carbon in it. So for this oxidation half reaction, I have this molecule, and this is the only molecule with carbon in it on the left. The only one with carbon in it on the right is carbon dioxide. So that's my oxidation half reaction. Now I'll write the reduction half reaction. Manganese is being reduced, gaining electrons. So I'll write manganese O4 minus, giving manganese two plus. I'm not writing all the aqueous and phases just to save in writing. Okay, so now I'm going to assign electrons. Each manganese has gained five electrons. It's gone from plus seven to plus two. So each manganese has gained five electrons, so I will write five electrons here so that manganese can go from plus seven to plus two oxidation state. Now, each carbon has lost one electron. So I'm gonna have to balance the carbons here so that I can write the proper number of electrons. So I will balance the carbon so I have two carbons on the left, two on the right. So each carbon loses an electron. And so 
I have two carbons, each losing an electron, so that's two electrons total. So now these are my two half reactions with the electrons added. I have my oxidation and my reduction, half reactions. So now I'm going to balance mass. So I save hydrogen and oxygen for last. I'll balance everything else. I balanced carbon so I could add electrons. And manganese are already balanced here. So now I will balance oxygen atoms. Now, this is in solution. And there's hardly any oxygen dissolved in water. Where does the oxygen come from? Well, it comes from water. So if we need oxygen atoms for one side of the reaction, we will add waters to gain those oxygen atoms. Just make some room here. So I have four oxygens on the left, four on the right. Well, these are already balanced in the top equation. So I look at the bottom equation. I have four on the left, none on the right. So I'll need four oxygen atoms. And so those oxygens are going to come from the water molecule. Now you'll notice if I add hydrogens, if I add waters, then I'm also adding hydrogens. But I will balance hydrogens last. Okay, so now I'll look. Everything's balanced in these equations except for the hydrogen atoms. And we will balance hydrogens by adding H pluses. So we have two hydrogens on the left. We need two on the right. And we have eight on the right, none on the left. So we need eight on the left. So now our hydrogens are balanced. Now for an acidic solution, we can leave the H pluses as is. But if we're in basic solution, then we'll need to add OHs to counteract the H pluses. But let's say we're in acidic solution for this example. So now we have everything balanced. We'll check two carbons, four oxygens, two hydrogens. The charge, zero on the left, negative two, plus two on the right, zero on the right. So we have to balance all the atoms and the charge. So one manganese, four oxygens, eight hydrogens, and we have a plus two charge on the right, so we need a plus two on the left. So eight plus five is three, minus one is two. So we have plus two charges on the left and the right, so our charge balances. So we have everything balancing. So now we can add the two half reactions to give the total reaction. However, when we add the half reactions, we have to make sure the electrons cancel. So I have five electrons on the left and two on the right. So in order for the electrons to cancel, it's similar to like finding a common, common denominator when you add fractions. So a common factor whole number between five and two would be 10. So if I multiply the top reaction by five, that will give me 10 electrons. And if I multiply the bottom reaction by two, that will give me 10 electrons. So now I'm ready to add everything up. So I have five, these molecules, I have 16 hydrogens pluses. You'll notice that the electrons cancel. I have 10 electrons on the left, 10 on the right, so they will cancel. I have two MnO4 minus. So that's everything on the left side of the arrow. 
on the right side of the arrow, I've got 10 carbon dioxides. I've got 10 H pluses. And I've got two MN two pluses. And eight waters. Okay, so now you can see that I have H pluses on both the right and the left, so I can cancel out some of them. So I have 10 on the left, 16 on the right, so that'll give me a total of six on the left. So I can cancel those. So this is my balanced equation. So there's no way I could just look at this and balance this reaction like I could with say combustion reaction if I had methane or octane burning in oxygen. You can balance those just by looking at it. This reaction is too complicated to balance just by looking at it. So we have to go through these rules for balancing redox reactions. Now let's make sure um, everything balances. Let's see. The charge first. We've got a total of 6 plus and 2 minus. So that's a total of plus 4 on the left. A total of 2 times 2 plus 4 on the right. Charge balances. That's good. We've got 10 plus 6. That's 16 hydrogens. So 16 hydrogens. We've got 28 oxygens. So as 28 oxygens, we have 10 carbons, 10 carbons, and we have two manganese two manganese. So everything balances, all the atoms and the charge. So this is the final balanced equation.